up YouTube, it's ICO, and in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to fully unjailbreak iOS 12.4, revert to your stock update, remove all traces of the jailbreak, all while maintaining your data, basically like setting it back to stock but without fully wiping it. And best news, you even retain your ability to jailbreak if you want to again in the future. Now this tutorial comes mere days after the iOS 12.4 jailbreaks release. If you happen to miss that, I highly recommend checking it out. I have it linked down below in the description. And since then, we've covered everything ranging from how to jailbreak to some of the best tweaks that you can install on your device once you actually are jailbroken to even A12 jailbreak status updates. So everything you need related to this jailbreak, again, can be found down below in the description. But today, say for whatever reason you wanna actually revert back to a stock iOS setup while maintaining your data, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. And again, you can then re-jailbreak. All right, so you only need one thing to actually perform this unjailbreak tutorial. You don't need to download anything extra. You just need the original jailbreak application that you used to perform the iOS 12.4 jailbreak. You don't need both Chimera as well as Uncover. You just need whichever one you used initially. Now, I used Uncover on this iPhone 6 right here, but I also have Chimera. I'm going to show you guys how to actually do it inside of Chimera after we talk about Uncover. I'm sure most of you are actually on Uncover though, but if you're utilizing Chimera, there will actually be a timestamp to go ahead and skip to that segment. Also, you can either be in your jailbroken or unjailbroken state. It really doesn't matter. You just need the application. And if you happen to delete it, then down below in the description, there will actually be a link to reobtain it as well. So here inside of Uncover, you can see that it does state re-jailbreak because again, we are already in our jailbroken state. If yours just says jailbreak though, that's completely fine. What I want you to do inside of Uncover is just tap on that settings icon in the top right hand corner and then toggle on where it says restore root FS and then just go ahead and tap done. What this will do is it will essentially restore the original file system snapshot that Uncover created prior to performing the jailbreak process. Don't worry, you will not lose any of your data whatsoever. It's just going to essentially reverse iOS to stock and that's it. It in fact even deletes Cydia and everything. All you have to do after the fact is just delete the Uncover application, but we'll talk about that in just a second. All you have to do from here is just hit Restore Root FS, and then it will actually say jailbreaking. It's really not jailbreaking. It needs to actually exploit the kernel, however, to achieve this. So it might not work the first try. If that's the case for you, you're going to have to reboot, open up Uncover again, make sure that that Restore Root FS option is toggled on, and then you're going to have to try it again. You can see here that mine looks like it's hanging on the exploiting kernel stage, the very first step. If that's the case for you, you might just have to reboot and try again. So I'm going to be right back. Okay, there we go. And that was maybe the 10th attempt right there to actually try to get this thing to work. For whatever reason, it took way too many tries. Again, I would just leave it. It still wouldn't progress past the first stage. So don't lose patience, guys. Don't give up. Eventually, it will work. The Sock Puppet exploit has a lower success rate on iOS 12.4, so just keep that in mind. You'll see here that we do have this notice saying that this will restore root FS, and it may take a while. Don't leave the app, and don't let your device lock. So if you have auto lock on, you're just going to have to keep tapping the screen but don't leave the app, don't let it lock, and I'm just going to tap OK to proceed with that. In my experience, it doesn't take too long to actually run through and restore the root file system, but again, that's just my personal experience and takeaway from the situation. You'll see here that it should finish up very soon. It's currently in the process of actually deleting Cydia itself. Again, don't worry, all of your personal data is left alone and you can then re-jailbreak because guess what? You're still on iOS 12.4. You can see here that it has successfully restored the root file system. We can tap OK and it's just going to go ahead and restart from there and I'll be right back once it's up. All right, so let's go ahead and press the home button, swipe over and now you can see I do not have Cydia and I am of course still on iOS 12.4 and I do also have all of my content. You can see that I do have the other three applications that I have here which are just Chimera, Tweakbox and of course Uncover which we just used to unjailbreak. And I'm going to show you guys quickly that I am in fact still on iOS 12.4 of course 
iOS 12.4, and now your iPhone is stock once more. So how awesome is that, guys? From there, you can just go ahead and delete the applications, and there you go. It's like it never happened, and it's like you were never jailbroken to begin with. Now, if you have Chimera, again, the process is also pretty simple. You might have to try it numerous times. All you do is you just launch it up. You go ahead and tap that little arrow right there to bring up the additional options. You tap on Restore Root FS, and it's letting you know that the next time you'll jailbreak, it's going to try to restore the root file system, and then you just tap right there. It's almost identical to the entire process that I just showed you guys inside of Uncover, except without all of the actual command line and what the application itself is doing. So definitely rewatch through the part where I unjailbreak using Uncover if you have Chimera, just to kind of get a feel for the process and how long it takes and also some of the obstacles that you might encounter, especially because this utilizes, of course, the exact same Sock Puppet exploit to achieve this. You might have to reboot several times if for whatever reason the exploit fails, which believe me, it does quite a bit, especially for me. But Having said that, again, the process is identical and the net result will be the same. From there, you can just go ahead and delete the applications and there you go. It's like it never happened and it's like you were never jailbroken to begin with. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial. I tried to make it as easy and streamlined for you guys as possible. Links to everything can be found below. The original jailbreak app you downloaded and used to jailbreak 12.4 is the only thing you need. Redownload it if of course you don't have it. And now that you're unjailbroken, I'm actually going to play one of our latest Top Tweaks videos for iOS 12.4 to kind of tempt you guys back into re-jailbreaking. Of course, our tutorial to re-jailbreak, like I said, can be found in the description as well. So uh, yeah, just come back to jailbreaking, guys. And until next time, this is ICU signing out. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to today's Top Tweaks videos. And you guessed it, I'm gonna show you guys the best things you can install on the brand new iOS 12.4 jailbreak. So before we start, you guys know what to do. Show that support. Anyway, I just wanna remind everyone that if you're not on 12.4, definitely get there. We have a video dedicated on how to do that. We have a video showing you guys how to jailbreak on iOS 12.4. And we already have a top tweaks video out showing you guys some of the best things that you can install. Well, let's go ahead and jump directly into things. Whether you guys are using Cydia or Cilio, this video is going to be applicable to you. Now, the best thing is this year, since there's been so many iOS 12 jailbreak releases, so many tweaks have already been updated for iOS 12.4 and or work directly out of the box. So pretty much my entire setup on iOS 12.1.2 over here can be transferred over to my iOS 12.4 setup. So I'm gonna show you guys some of the best free tweaks you can install, but before we get into that list, I just want to show everyone this list. This is an entire list of over 200 tweaks that have been tested by the jailbreak community and are proven to be working. As you guys can see, there really isn't much red here. Pretty much 90% of the tweaks on this list work out of the box on iOS 12.4. So we'll go ahead and link this down below in this video's description. If you guys want a list of a good 250 to 300 tweaks, and again, this is dynamically updated. People keep adding to this as time goes on, so it'd be great to bookmark this and subscribe to our channel. So let's get directly into things, starting out here on my iPhone 10 running iOS 12.4. I'll just go ahead and pop up the settings app, go to about and show you guys I am updated to the latest version of iOS and I'm completely jailbroken with Chimera running Celio. Well, let's talk about some Celio tweaks right off the bat. One of my favorite ones that just came out is called Fluid Tabs. Now, either at the top or at the bottom, you can literally just swipe to go to the next screen or down here on the bar. As you guys can see, you can just swipe between tabs. And again, this works on both Cydia and Cilio, as well as third-party applications, anything with a tab manager. But I think this works really well right within the package manager. So next up, we have Sil Actions. If you guys just tap and hold, you can actually reinstall or uninstall tweaks just like that. 
add them to the queue. And the really cool part is you can go ahead and click confirm, let it do its thing. And when you're done, when you click done right there, restart Celio, instead of restarting the springboard, it actually takes you back right to your installed packages so you can begin to install more packages. Then of course you can go in and manually respring once you have your entire list all done. And this one's just a minor one, but Celio No Banner removes this annoying, obnoxious red banner right here from unsupported uh, repositories, so it looks just a little bit cleaner. 